Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to install and use the web chat GPT, chat GPT with internet access Chrome extension. So why should you consider using this Chrome extension? So let me show it first via an example. So as you might know, if you ask ChatGPT a question about real-time data or about events that happened after 2021, like what is the price of Bitcoin today, as an AI language model, ChatGPT is not going to be able to reply to your questions. And also it is not able to access URLs or web pages on the internet, so it's not going to be able to read the content of a web page. However, there is a workaround for this, and you can do that using this Chrome extension called Web Chat GPT. I will also add the link of this Chrome extension in the description below. Then you're going to be able to add it to your web browser. It works on Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave, or any kind of Chromium based web browser. And once you install the Chrome extension, you're gonna see that this toolbar will appear under your comments. By default, what this web chat GPT Chrome extension will do, it will scrape three results from Google search and use that information it has found on Google to power up your response. So going back to the previous example, if we ask what is the Bitcoin price today, as you can see what the extension has done, it has scraped the first three results of Google search. And as you can see, using this information, ChatGPT is able to answer that the, as the current date is April 20th, 2023, the price of Bitcoin in USD is 30,343, which is right. And it will also use the sources here. So as you can see, it will link out the sources it used in its response. So this way you can use it to analyze recent events. So events that just happened in the last month, like the bankruptcy of Silicon Valley Bank and stuff like that. And there is also another way to use this web chat GPT Chrome extension. So it's not only going to be able to scrape Google search results, which you can change it here. So if you want to scrape more than three results, so 10 results, you can change that. But there is also a second way to use this extension. So if you press forward slash here, as you see, if you add the page comment here, it's going to get the content of that specific page. So if we add page here and add the URL of a page, like in this example, this Wikipedia page about payment, it's going to be able to scrape the content from this page and use that information to be able uh, to answer it your specific questions about this. So as you can see, it has scraped the complete web page, the content of the whole web page. And based on that information, you're going to be able to ask question about this web page. So because I haven't added a query yet, it hasn't answered me anything, but you can add the query and then you're going to be able to ask a question about a Wikipedia article without copy pasting the complete text from Wikipedia. So you know this is how to install and use the web chat GPT Chrome extension to access the internet and the Google search results and get real time information, more information about recent news stories that chat GPT has no knowledge of.